1989 U.S. Open. And the women's top seed, Steffi Graf. Steffi started the stadium card with a quarterfinal match against number eight, Helena Sukova, a U.S. Open finalist in 1986. After cruising through the first set 6-1, Steffi is already up 2-1 here in the second. An easy time, Mary. It was really shocking to see just how dismissive Steffi was. In fact, she was playing so well from the baseline today that she even decided to warm up her, her net play. That's how confident she was. Now at 4-1 here on the second set. Father Peter Groff even has time for conversation in this one. Sometimes he's intent watching her coach Pavel Slozo paying a little more attention, but it's been an easy route to the semifinal for Steffi Groff. Afterwards, Mary Carrillo asked her about how her opponents try to play her. Everybody has a little bit different tactics. I mean, some are trying to play it a little bit slower and try to play from the back. Others try to come in. And Helena was somebody who was uh, trying to come in and play a little bit harder, took more risks, and made more mistakes with it. Do you sometimes feel as though they're overplaying when they shouldn't? That sure, sometimes they do. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you realize that. But um, it's up to everybody. Obviously, as we've mentioned, on clay, you've had some losses this year. Um, your gra obviously, you've won Wimbledon a couple of times. You know how to play on grass, but it just seems as though the hard court is, is the best possible service to you. It's such a great attacking service. Yeah, I just, like I said, I like to play on faster surface as, for example, the hard courts. And uh, on grass court, I've developed a pretty good game to now, too. So those are the, the ones, really, they're my favorite. Is there somebody, my feeling has been going in that you're about the only person in the women's row who could beat you, but Martina's playing very strong tennis. Can her attacking game, you think, uh, stay up with your with your passing shots, your aggressiveness? Depends how I play. You know, if I play well and if I play what I've done the last couple of weeks and uh, I should do really all right. It's just, you know, sometimes you just don't have your, the best days and maybe Martina's playing great. But it's, it really have to see. I mean, I'm in a very good shape right now. And if I produce that kind of tennis like I do, it should be good for me. Is it about as well as you were playing last year? Is there anything very different about your game from last year? Oh, I, I would say so. I come in a little bit more. And uh, I have found out that I don't have such a bad volley. And I can make some points with it. And uh, I try to, to do that once in a while, just um, you know, to put the, the opponent more under pressure with it. And uh, I think my backhand has gotten better, the passing shots. And uh, that makes a difference. You look great. Thank you. Thanks. Try. Well, those soft eyes will turn a little harder when she takes on number three, Gabriella Sabatini, a rematch of last year's final. Sabatini in the quarterfinal today against Arancha Sanchez Vicario, match of the day here at the U.S. Open. Tied one all here in the first set. At the Canadian Open just a couple of weeks ago, Sabatini was way up against Sanchez and lost that match. That's her coach, Angel Jimenez, watching on. So when Sanchez went ahead in this first set, things didn't look good for Sabatini. Sanchez at 3-2 here. Beautifully placed lob. Arantxa played a very steady first set and a very clever one as well. But in the second set, Sabatini got much more aggressive and she cut down her errors. That's a nice mix. Sanchez serving it two all here on the second. Sabatini won most of those baseline duels, and that is a strength of Sanchez. Now all even in the third set, but Sanchez Ficario, Ficario falling down four games to one, and really in trouble now, and certainly very much on the mind of Sabatini, the comeback by Sanchez in Canada. point here and Sabatini showing that she can run with a very speedy Sanchez Vicario. Afterwards, Gabriella visited with us in the studio. Gabriella, Rancho Sanchez is never very easy to play. You know that from just a couple of weeks ago in uh, Canada. Were you concerned that maybe it would turn out the same way, a late victory by her? Yeah, it was, uh, I remember last week when I was 5-1. 
and, uh, and I lost the match. So this time I tried to, you know, when I was five up, tried to concentrate and try to win it there because it could happen the same thing again. Now you have Steffi in uh, what is a rematch of last year's final. Uh, that was a three-setter. You've beaten her once this year. Uh, are you confident about your game and your chances? Yes, I'm very confident. Uh, I think I'm playing a very good tennis, and uh, I will have to be very concentrated and very tough mentally. That's going to be very important. You know, I wonder when I watch you play doubles together so successfully, I asked you this a couple of years ago, and there was talk that you might break up. Still, you're together. Uh, what goes on out there? Do you watch each other's matches and talk about what's happening in the singles? No, not much. We don't talk about the, the matches. Uh, we just go there and, and play, and I think we are, we are playing very good doubles in, in this tournament, and in, uh, in, uh, we're really happy. When you walk out on the doubles court together, do you not say, hey, I saw your match, uh, Steffi, uh, well played? Uh, you don't say <laughs> no, that? No, maybe sometimes, sometimes, but uh, we don't talk too much about tennis. Okay. Gabriella, good luck. We know it'll be an exciting matchup, and we wish you the best. Thank you. And so the stage is set for Friday's women's semifinals. Gabriella Sabatini against Steffi Graf in a rematch of last year's championship. And in the other semi, Martina Navratilova against Zina Garrison. We'll have it for you live on Friday, beginning at 11 Eastern Time. 11